when I first got started with publishing more than 10 years ago, I decided to, I, I, I treated it as an experiment and basically I did a lot of stuff DIY. I don't recommend doing that um, unless you have a really good skill in this particular area. This is my DIY book cover. I designed it with uh, GIMP. I didn't even have Photoshop. I just did it on GIMP. Yes, I sold some copies of this book, not many. I realized that I needed a pro. Um, this is the professional design that we use now for our books. Um, this is by a company out in Austin that I work with. And you can see it's a fabulous job. Sometimes people ask me, well then why don't you just kind of use AI? AI can take care of this. Like no one's gonna need graphic designers. And I have a couple things to say about that. First of all, the quality of the AI output is really variable. You can see this is kind of blobby. I couldn't use this for a cover of a book, like let's say about genealogy. The other thing is, is I don't know the provenance of this particular work. Like Stable Diffusion says, oh yeah, you know, it's uh, from a model from thousands of data points or something. What if someone sues me later on because it looks like some design that they created and the AI just copied it, you know? They're not gonna they're not gonna go to Stable Diffusion to try to, you know, squeeze money from them. They're gonna come to me, the publisher, and say, hey, you copied our design and you gotta pay up. So I'm very wary of using these AI tools. I think they're still kind of half-baked at this point. Um, graphic, real graphic designers, human graphic designers, they're artists, they know what they're doing. If they're, if they're good, they can work with the client in many proactive and positive ways. I've been very happy working with this particular firm and I'll continue working with them. Uh, even, even, if, uh, even, if, even if the AI tools improve the quality or make some clarity about the, um, the, the legal situation. One other thing I wanna explain is that even if a, an AI can generate an image, like that image that I just showed you of the family tree, uh, where the heck is it? Like, yes, they can create an image like that, but guess what? If you're working with Amazon, or you're working with Ingram, like Lightning Source or Ingram Spark, like this is the template that Ingram wants me to use for my books. So I can, yes, I can get the AI to generate an image, but can I get the AI to shoehorn it into this template? Like, and that's just the template for the for the Ingram book. Like for KDP, it's something completely different. This is the K, this is the KDP template, completely different. KDP is very particular about where the barcode goes. So, you know, can you tell the AI, oh yeah, move the uh, barcode up 20 pixels or, a, or, you know, a half inch to the left. No, AIs can't do that yet. Um, and so I need a, a real graphic designer who can, I can give them the template. I can say, look, um, we agreed on the design for the, for the cover of the book and the interior. Can you help me shoehorn it into these templates that Ingram and KDP have provided? So that's another reason to stick with professional graphic designers, uh, book designers. I think they do great work and um, I'm gonna be working with them you know, for the foreseeable future.